Right, well, it has started to thin out. As you can see, the rains are pouring down here in Berlin, but there is still a, a very hardy crowd on Platz der Republik just behind me in front of the uh, the Bundestag, uh, where the Reichstag building, where the Bundestag, the German parliament, sits. Now, around 100,000 or so people came out here on Saturday. Some formed a human chain, which they called a, a human firewall, around the centre of their democracy, which they said was to protect it against the invasive and pervasive forces of far-right extremism. Spoke to some of those in the crowd about why they came out, because it's an interesting group uh, of people from right across the political spectrum here in Germany. They said that it was a movement of the moderate, that for too long the far-right and far-left of German society had had a voice, and now it was time for them to come out and be heard. I'm here because it's time that people saw that it's not just the voice of the AFD that we're hearing in Germany. Other people are um, voicing their opinions and as you see they are ready to come out and show what they believe in. Uh, I'm here to save our freedom. I'm here to fight the rising uh, right wing in Germany and Europe and I'm trying to um, defend humanity. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have a little baby daughter, right, as you see here, and we feel like such a strange movement in this country at the moment. I think 20, 30 percent really right wing leaning. So we feel like we have to do anything, and I don't know if that's the best thing you can do, but it's some easy thing you can do, maybe, and that's why we're here. Yeah. So uh, the AFD uh, running second in most opinion polls. Is there any sign of the party's popularity dwindling? Right, well, since the scandal broke, uh, which has really driven this movement, which was after it emerged that AFD members, along, it has to be said, with some members of the Conservative Christian Democratic Union, had attended a meeting um, with far-right extremists talking about the removal, the forced deportation of migrants and even German citizens with a migrant background. We've seen huge protests. Around 1.5 million people took part last month. Um, it has had an effect nationally on the AFD in the polls. We've seen them drop from around 22% to around 19% nationally. However, it becomes more complicated when you look at the very crucial state elections that will be taking place later this year in the states of Saxony, uh, Thuringia and Brandenburg. These are three states in the old East Germany, former East Germany, the DDR, where AFD do have a very strong foothold and despite the uh, the, the movement, the, the movement of the moderates as they've called themselves, they are still very strong in those areas. You're not seeing these type of protests in those regions. So what we are seeing is nationally this is having an impact, but in those core regions where AFD will expect to garner their support, they're still incredibly strong.